Hello and welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Amari Bell. <laughs> Bell arrived with much fanfare for a League One player after being hotly tipped for a move to Premier League chasing Cardiff City. I had not seen much of the lad prior to his days in a Rover shirt, but I was very excited to see him after we had clinched the deal. Despite the hype and hoo-ha around the player, we have seen very little of his abilities with only cameos since his arrival in January transfer window. I was somewhat surprised to notice that Bell had been selected in the League One team of his season, despite only making a few appearances in the blue and white. His abilities and performances at Fleetwood Town secured that honour, but his talents were visible during his brief half-season with Rovers. It is very hard to judge a player on so little performances, however I'm very excited to see what he has to offer in his first full season next year in the Championship. However, as for this season, I can only judge sparingly, so a modest C plus for the future left-back at Ewood Park. So let's take a look now at the statistics for Amari Bell this season. All in all, he was involved in 53 matches this season. Now that is combined with Blackburn Rovers and Fleetwood Town. Now when it does say 53 matches, it basically includes if he was involved as a substitute, involved on the bench, all that kind of good stuff. Four goals this season, again, I think they were all for Fleetwood. Two assists, he plays 74% of all possible time available to him this season. He was uh, substituted in six times and off three times, two yellow cards uh, for the season. And let's take a look at Amari Bell's statistics in League One. And once again, this is a combined overview. He was involved in 39 games this season, winning 18 of them, drawing eight, uh, losing 13 times. Uh, he scored four goals, which is actually 0.1 goals per game. Um, all in all, he was involved in 3,079 minutes of first team football. His last five fixtures look like this. Four wins and one defeat. He was involved in that defeat against Charlton. He's won seven out of his previous eight games. Drawn one in the previous 11 and lost one in nine. Uh, but when you break that down realistically, according to this anyway, he's lost one out of the two games. Uh, he's went 17 games without scoring a goal. And he scored in actually 10% of all games uh, he's played in, I think, is that right? Um, he went on a six-game winning streak with Blackburn Rovers, but he was also involved in an eight-game streak uh, without a win, and that looked like uh, his time at Fleetwood. He also involved in a three-game losing streak again with Fleetwood, uh, but he also was involved in a seven-game streak without a loss, uh, scoring one game. Uh, this is a back-to-back -back statistic, but so he didn't really score back-to-back. -back. Uh, but he went 17 games without scoring. Here he is. Here's his statistics for the season. Obviously combined Fleetwood and Blackburn Rovers. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.